When I heard his voice, I was at the front of a classroom at a community college in Nashville. I was talking with students about European and West African slave traders. See, this is why I'm sick of the South taking responsibility for slavery. He gestured to the map on the screen. They sold their own. A single toothpick bounced on his lips. His words crashed off of the walls and desks and encircled the other 30 students in the class. Students of African descent and European descent and students with Southern roots centuries deep. Students whose families had owned slaves and students whose ancestors had been enslaved. I wrote his quote on the board in slow, deliberate strokes. They sold their own. The classroom grew quiet. In the next hour, the students and I broke down this sentence, grasping for new ways to think about it. Who were they? What did it mean to sell? Who were their own? Students asked question after question. At the end of class, I called on that student one last time. So did they sell their own? He paused, and then he chuckled. That question doesn't even make sense anymore, he admitted. The class nodded their agreement. I smiled at the students as they filtered out of the room, though my lungs felt tight. I had missed something important. I just stayed in my comfort zone, going with history. And more than that, I had avoided discomfort by skirting around the modern question of responsibility. I let the class walk out of the room without discussing the real stakes of what they had just learned. My stomach churned as I wondered if something I did or said prompted the student's challenge. I was upset that my students of color had to hear it and that I did not handle it in a way that was wholly fair to the realities they live. The truth is that America has a history of white supremacy and racism that can be traced directly to slavery. This history still kills today and the body count will continue to grow unless I navigate through my own discomfort, tackle those painful questions, and help my students navigate through theirs.